I'm looking forward to our next interview. Uh, I think he's getting his picture taken and then I'm gonna get a chance to speak to him. So we'll find out who that is. Who am I gonna be interviewing? What's your... Amazing, say that again. Nicholas, Nicholas Peppers. And what are you getting your honorary doctorate for? For the general contributions in the area of biomaterials and drug delivery, that is, new methods of treatment of patients who suffer from certain diseases, and especially debilitating diseases, especially autoimmune diseases, and so on. Can you give me some examples of the kinds of things yeah. you're talking about? I'm talking about coming up with new types of therapeutic agents, new types of proteins, new types of drugs, if you wish, that can be used in order to treat patients who suffer from multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, as you know, is a very debilitating disease. Another disease is Crohn's disease that many people have and they have to go uh, often, uh, you know, to, to, to take care of the disease because they have problems in the gastrointestinal area. So, typically, in these diseases, we treat them using injections, shots. Okay. And shots are not always the best way. Why Patients not? do not like shots. And very often, we have a problem of what we call in English uh, compliance. They are not willing to take their shots. So we are developing new systems and new products, new formulations that can be used to treat patients not by, by injections, by shots, but by other means, if you wish, by a capsule or something like that. Also, we are working a lot in the area of biomaterials. As you probably know, there is a new field now of regenerative medicine, trying to regenerate certain organs for example, if we have a problem with our meniscus uh, in our knees, we should be able to replace it with a new cartilage that is developed from our own cells. And this is work that we have been doing, others as well, over the last 20 or 30 years. Now, when you say we, who are we talking about and what is your connection to Tel Aviv University? Good. Uh, we, I mean myself and my group of researchers and collaborators and graduate students and postdocs, but also very often I'm talking about people in other universities and other countries, such as Israel, who have been working for uh, with us for many years. So here at Tel Aviv University, we have a very significant uh, interaction, collaboration with several professors uh, in order to develop uh, new systems for treatment of patients. In the long run, let's not forget that there are solutions presently. They are not always the best solutions. We are always trying to come up with something that will make our patients feel a little bit better. For example, uh, they will be freer to move around. They will not have to be at home to take a particular product at a particular time. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we are doing. So when I say we, I mean collaboration with other, especially with Israel. We have many collaborations. And where are you from? I'm originally from Greece. I was born and raised in Greece, but I left in 1971. Mm -hmm came to the United States to the university called MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We know it well. Yeah. Of course, many, many Israelis there. And then after that, to various universities in the United States. And I am at the University of Texas. As you probably know, in Texas, we have a large community of medical scientists. And again, we are very proud of what we have done in that area. So it's, it's a very nice environment. Great. Well, congratulations on your award. And thank you so much for being here.